In a world where courage meets compassion, one woman's journey defies convention. Mimi niliona nibadilike kutoka kwenye ukeketaji kwa sababu gani? Kwanza ukeketaji sijaona faida yake. Kuwa mimi nilichoona mtoto wa kike hata kama hajakeketwa ana uwezo wa kuolewa na ana uwezo wa kupata watoto. Meet Esther Joseph, a powerful voice for change. She went from practicing female genital mutilation to becoming an unwavering advocate against it. Nikaona haina sababu ya kuendelea kukeketa kwa sababu tena ile nimeshaona ni hasara kubwa. Yule mtoto ninapomuumiza yule mtoto anapata maumivu makali sana. Na kingine hapa sasa hivi mimi naumia sana kwa watoto wa kike na ndio maana sasa hivi niko na akina Daima na wengine mimi na watoto wa kike ambao niko nao sasa hivi watoto wawili wa watu. Nimeamua kukaa nao ili wasiolewe mapema, wapate elimu yao ya msingi ili kupata ufahamu vizuri ili waweze kuondokana na mimba za utotoni. Esther is the mother of Daima Julius. Daima is one of 19 young girls from Kenya and Tanzania who recently received leadership, communication and public speaking training to address issues such as female genital cutting and early marriages in their communities through advocacy. Sasa kwa kweli mabadiliko yanatokea kwa sababu watu wengi wameshapata elimu wamepata elimu ya kweli kwanza watoto wamepata elimu shuleni na malaiguana ni wamepata elimu kutoka shirika la kuweko na sisi mangariba tumepata elimu kutoka shirika la kuweko na sisi sasa hivi tumeshakuwa chachu yani tunaitetea sasa hivi kitu ambao tunapiga vita kuliko ni vyote ni ukeketaji sasa hivi ni kweli kama wana wanakeketa imekuwa ni kidogo haiko spidi kama vile vi, siku za nyuma kwanza kinachonifanya kufurahi kuwa kwenye shirika la FNF na kukataa kabisa huo ukatili wa kijinsia wao kwanza walifundisha malaiguana ni Malaiguana ni walipopata walipopata ile elimu kwenye shirika la FNF wakatuita na sisi kama malaiguana ni wakina mama na mangariba ndani yao tukafundishwa na shirika la FNF tukapata elimu ya kutosha wakatuelimisha kuhusu ukeketaji kuhusu ukatili wa kijinsia kwa watoto wa kike na kutoelimisha watoto tuka tukaelimishwa pale tuka pale siku ile ya kumaliza mafunzo ya FNF FNF walitupa, walitupatia fungu kidogo akatuambia mkaanzishe vikundi na nilipokuja kukaa ndani ya jamii tukaanzisha vile vikundi vikundi vilifurahi sana na wale ambayo tuliwakaribisha kuwanyonyesha yale maziwa ya FNF nao walifurahi. Kwa hiyo hapa sasa hivi tunapanua mafunzo ya FNF kwamba jamani FNF imetutoa kwenye umaskini kwamba imetuibua inatupa vikundi. Yaani mama ambaye alikuwa hana kabisa namna sasa hivi ana namna ya kwenda kununua mboga na kutembeza huko mtaani na kununua majani yake na kwenda kuuza uzo huko mtaani. Kwa hiyo kama alikuwa hana namna kabisa ya kununua chumvi, leo amepata kulingana na kile kikundi tulicho kitoa kule FNF. Kwa hiyo FNF kwa kweli imetusaidia. Atua moja kutoka kwenda atua nyingine. Equipped with essential skills for economic independence. Esther and other women can sustain themselves. This empowers Esther to extend her support to other vulnerable girls, protecting them from early forced marriages, school dropout, and female genital mutilation. Alafu mimi kama mimi kwa kweli nimeweza kukutana na watu wengi ambao wamekimbilia hapa kwangu, naweza kutoa mfano kama watoto wawili. 
mmoja ambaye mnamuona sasa hivi mwenye watoto wawili amekimbilia hapa kwangu kwa kuka, ku, kwa ku, kwa kupata changamoto ya ukatili wa kijinsia anaodheshwa mbaba mwenye miaka sabini, yule binti akawa amekimbilia hapa kwangu baada ya kusikia kwamba FNF imetutoa sisi mbali sasa yule binti akaja hapa kwangu mimi nikamsaidia nikampeleka mpaka shirika la kuweko pale Moshi tukapata barua nzuri iliyotusaidia na tukafika pale TPC akapokea mwenzetu pale wa kuweko akatusaidia malaigwana ni wakawa mstari wa mbele wanataka kulipiga hilo vita lakini pale FNF walisimama kideti na walimsaidia yule dada e, wananiongelea alafu wananiuliza ni kwa nini ukaacha ukeketaji sasa mimi ninajaribu kuambia maana yangu ya kuacha ukeketaji na wananijaribu kuniambia sasa wewe ina maana utakuwa 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 nani hii utakuwa mkabila ukiacha ukeketaji mimi sasa ninajaribu kuwaelimisha kwa sababu mimi nimewaambia nyie itakuwa labda ilikuwa hamjui lakini nikiwaambia mtajua lakini cha msingi naomba mnapopata mafunzo msiyadharau ya tiini ya sikilizeni yani walikuwa kabisa yani wanaona ni kitu cha tofauti kabisa kwa hiyo nakuta umati wa akina mama wengi wanapenda kukusanyika pamoja na mimi wakishaniona wanataka kuwa kundi kubwa karibu yangu ili wasikie mtakachowaambia sasa na mimi ile inanipa ishu kubwa kwa sababu ndio natoa elimu kwa wingi Naomi a young activist highlights several serious consequences linked to FGM health risks disrupted education economic setbacks and social and psychological impact she emphasizes a distressing reality that some girls feeling trapped resort to tragic measures like suicide this underscores the dire ripple effect of the human rights violations associated with FGM for my perspective and experience for what i know especially in Maasai society ill marriage and female genital mutilation has many effects in little youngs in our society for example for those girls who have been harassed by their parents by doing female genital mutilation and by being forced to be married when they are young among of the effect that they got first during delivery they are they are little girls so they felt oh they they meet with a lot of complications during delivery and those complications bring to end their life sometimes so at the end of the day the one among of them is a the girl in our society is not only early marriage in girls but also little boys are being brought to the women so that after maybe 14 years father went somewhere to find a, a girl and then he bring to his son so after a long period of quarrels one of them take up the decision in order for me to be safe maybe let me kill myself we have many cases in around our society those little girls take up the poisons and they end up their lives Esther Joseph uh, in the society now she she do better in giving education on how to eliminate those element concerning about the genital mutilation genital mutilation that continue to our society so she always make in make education to give uh, to educate educate the people educate the member eh, of mass society in my opinion i advise the society that surround in this area that it is it is better to stop that uh, that action 
of female genital mutilation because it have a lot of uh, disadvantage. It is against human right. FNF Tanzania project manager Veni Swai notes that addressing these issues requires concerted efforts from various stakeholders. These include communities, policymakers, and advocacy groups to raise awareness, enforce laws against these practices, provide access to education and healthcare, and empower girls and women to have control over their lives and futures. What inspired me to work uh, specifically in Sia district? It started with one of the projects we are doing with Kuyeko, uh, supporting uh, Rehema Kiruti, a Maasai woman who was denied her rights from her community. And she may be the first woman to take um, the husband to court because of issues related to GBV. And Unfortunately, Rehema was uh, kicked out of her community because of decision that she took. But the courageous way of how she handled the matter made me realize this is an opportunity for us to continue as FNF with Kuyeko partnership to work with women in the, uh, in the Maasai community. Actually, the inspiration of, of working and it also helped us to design program that was supporting women and some of these projects were um, economic empowerment for women who are survivors of gender-based violence. But it, it, bring, it brought us to, to also work on issues related to those who have been practicing FGM as cutters. And so we started with identifying the women who may be uh, like a role models for the community. And one of them is Esther Joseph, who she has been a key and a woman leader, who she was a um, gariba, a woman who was doing cut, and she decided to be part of the um, work we are doing. And now she has become one of the main women that has supported our initiative. She's been very active, a role model, and she's inspiring not only other women who were doing cut, but also girls. Now she's becoming the lady that girls are going to in case they have problems, not only on issues of FGM, but also those ones who are denied their right to school, the ones who are, are forced to be married when they are young. What we're doing, actually, we are only touching a small part of a big problem that is existing. That means we need other stakeholders to join hands. And a lot of awareness needed, still needed. Uh, young people have come to us and say that we need also to be part of this program. There are a lot of young people who are still struggling to understand the culture, to understand how the modern world works and how they can be also part of the change. And so other stakeholders can support by also bringing skills supporting them in training young people, but also supporting those women who have decided to, for example, to stop cut by coming to the economic activities. These people need support. You can get the knowledge about doing business, but you need capital. I think it will be an opportunity to other stakeholders also to bring in their part and support them. But also advocacy, we need to keep on talking about it. The more voices, the better. The more people are talking about the challenges that are going on in the community, the better. So I think it's very important to continue raise awareness through social media, through information, research, and make sure that if you're telling a community to change perspective, you have to give them alternative. And we cannot do alone. We need other stakeholders to help us to do that. Mm -hmm.